America, and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Corvette Ronnie. <laughs> I'm dumbfounded. <laughs> As am I. Uh, welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart, the Fen Treasure. This is what we like to call Fen Mail, and we address some of the emails and comments that we get from a previous video. And we do that because we get such a kick out of your comments. Yeah. Our viewers are just so creative and so funny, and we really appreciate that. And you know what? You don't even have to be funny. No. If you want to comment and say, like Jose said, remember? Oh, yes. You guys are awesome. Effing. Yeah, that's what he said. Effing. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, thank you, Jose. We you nailed it, dude. We got your comment. You we appreciate totally it. totally nailed it. Now, uh, before we get into some of these comments, Ronnie, I uh, wanted to mention that Thanks to a viewer named Ken, and I'll just leave his last name out of it for now, because if you go to our comments, you could find it if you wanted to. And Ken sent us a comment on the Fen Mail Friday episode of last week, and he says, Lou and Ronnie, I sent an email about you guys to Forrest. He may block me for good after that <laughs> and send me to the trash, but what the heck? He doesn't respond normally. Keep up the good work and keep on jamming. I think Ken's a guitar player, a musician of some sort. I think he might be because he's met, we mentioned we were musicians. I think he mentioned he was a musician also. Uh huh. Maybe a bass player. Or oh something. yeah, yeah, yeah. For, but for only fourteen years. Right. Rookie. No, actually, Ronnie, you read it wrong. It was thirty years. Oh. Yeah, that's why I didn't uh, understand your comment. Oh. Sorry. Uh, he says still rookie. Corbett Ronnie says he did. Ronnie, he said Lou for Lou to email him directly. I copied Lou uh, in the email. <laughs> I'll be a son of a gun yeah. if Forrest did not reply. Not only did he say that he'd be open to the idea of doing an interview with us, but he also said that he watches our show on occasion. Mm -hmm. And I think huge he's, fan, huge. I didn't fan. say huge. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, the, oh, that was Donald Trump. Donald yeah, Trump's right. a huge fan. Good impersonation. <laughs> uh, he said that he's seen the show when people have sent him a link. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to start sending him episodes. Yeah. You know, I yeah. just click on it. You can watch Forrest. Only the good ones, which is all of them. Duh. Yeah. So let's say hi to Forrest. Hey, Forrest. How you doing? Buddy. Good to see you. Yeah. All right. So um, here's what I'm getting at. We'd like to do this interview, but you know what? The budget for our show has already been blown for the year. Yeah. Uh, we, this is... We bought a case of bottled water and that was it. At Costco. <laughs> We're done. Prices are just outrageous. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> we need your help. And I, I almost feel bad doing this, but I'm asking you right now, and, and, and along with Ronnie, if you are a viewer who loves this show, subscribes to this show, enjoys the two of us, and you're here for the Fen videos, and you would like to see Men Are So Smart spend some time drinking Great Bet with Forrest Fen. Yes. And you know what I was thinking? Maybe we could arrange to do the interview like inside a plane. Well, that would be bad. I'm thinking. Yes. I'm always thinking. Yeah. So. Maybe we have some tea and Oreos. We need, also. yeah. Yeah. We need your donations. How do you do it? Just contact me and I will make those arrangements. How much money do we need? Well, we're gonna have to do a round trip flight. Probably gonna stay over one night. We're gonna need to rent a car and we're gonna need to eat. Lots, so, lots of food. Yeah, well, Ron, it's That's gonna be the biggest expenditure right yeah. there. Food. Half of alone loan would be donuts. <laughs> so. Glazed. Gla <laughs> we need your help. And I wouldn't ask if it weren't that this could be one of the biggest things that happens to this show and to our viewers. And when I say that, what I mean, you know, anybody could interview Forrest Fenn. Right. But wouldn't you like to see the two of us spend a little time? It really wouldn't even be an interview. It would be just like the three of us hanging out. Right. And I was telling somebody yesterday, I'll have Ronnie grab a six pack of 805s and bring those down and have us for us check out one of those beers and yes. see what he thinks, you know? Yeah. We're, and we're not, we're not trying to get him drunk by any means, but just a couple of guys sitting around 
having some beers. We need your help. You know what? We have, we're coming up on 500 subscribers. Yep. See, if every subscriber sent in five bucks, mm -hmm. I think we'd be pretty good. Wow. That's a realistic number. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying to yourself, you know what? I could afford five bucks, or 10 or 20 or 50 or right. whatever it might be. Yeah. Please get a hold of me. And I, I, I don't want to just give out my cell phone right. for obvious reasons. I would if I could, but I can't. Uh, but if you want to email me, I'll get back to you and we will make this happen. I know a way we can do it, uh, if not one, two different ways that we could do this. And it does not have anything to do with wiring money via Western Union no. or Apple gift cards. No. <laughs> or Bitcoin. Those are scams, by the way. <laughs> you know what? I just did a presentation to Wells Fargo on Thursday of scams. Uh -huh. And all the type of scams that you could fall for, Western Union, MoneyGram, and Apple gift cards. That's what all the scammers want. So, wow. So we won't ask for that. No, please. No. Uh, in any case, we, we would like your help, okay? We're just going to leave it at that. Uh, our email addresses are going across the screen as we speak. All right, so next up on our comments, Ronnie. I, I've got this one from mm -hmm. JT. Okay. That, that, and you had brought it up earlier. JT says, hey, maybe Toby and what's-her-name will invite you guys over for margaritas. <laughs> Uh, I, do you see a response to that? Uh, because I wrote it back. There is. Let me let me see. It where says it. Uh, JT. That might get kind of awkward. He'd play bizarre tunes and sound effects. She wouldn't say much. I'd get sloppy drunk, and Roddy would have uh, separate Toby and, and have to separate Toby and me and carry me out of there. See, I predicted the whole night already. You've you've really laid out. It's like a game plan. Yeah, I'd be. You've like you're like Bill Belichick coming up exactly coming up with a game Ronnie plan. Ronnie would be carrying me out of there screaming, and yep. Toby would be playing cricket sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the invite. I do enjoy a margarita, though. Appreciate it. Yeah, mine didn't show that response. I, I don't know why. Oh, yeah. Uh, Buzz Smith one. says, you guys, you men are fun to watch. Forrest Fenn would have a blast with you, I think. Thank you, Buzz. Appreciate it. Uh, shout out to you. I don't think I've seen you on here before. Uh, Ron Davis sent one. Uh, it says, what the... I'm not even into the hunt, but for some reason the other night... I dreamed I bumped into Fenn and welcomed him, asking what he was doing so far north. He just gave me a disdainful look and walked away as I had asked him where the treasure was. Yeah, that's always... That part's probably not a dream. He probably just answered. Yeah. Uh, maybe searchers should use a clairvoyant to channel Fenn's psyche and obtain a solve probably as easy as trying to figure out his poem. What did I tell you about five months ago? We need to get a psychic on the show. Yeah. And I tried. I tried. But, you know, they don't do stuff for free. What we ended up with, we got a lot of replies from psychos. Yeah. And it, that wasn't going to work. Yeah. I replied to Ron. I said, hey, you know what? I think anything and everything is a possibility. So if you know somebody that, you know, like helps the FBI solve serial killings, yeah, you might want to give them a contact. That's a good idea. Yeah. Somewhere out there, smart and funny, you and Forrest have a thing or two in common. Ever consider writing a treasure poem? Or read the thrill of the chase another time, a second time, taking care to notice words and phrases, ow, phrases that are hints he has sprinkled in. So there's a heads up for you, Ronnie, when you read it for your first time. Okay. You'll, you'll notice when you see certain words that he uses and you go, that's not a real word. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Uh, Bud One Wiser Nenning, who's a, uh, a very frequent commenter, he says, Rules have ruled us since biblical days and will continue till the end of days. Uh, we all know Forrest doesn't play by the rules. So in your opinion, is it possible for a person to edit audio to sound like Forrest is telling part of a story? Well, uh... I said, you know what? I think almost anybody with some free free time could learn to mimic a voice. And Lou went on to say that he spent your kind of your <laughs> early radio career yeah. was doing voices uh -huh. of Rodney Dangerfield and Russ, Ross Perot. Yeah. And, 
Uh, Ronald uh, Reagan. Yes, Ronald Reagan, Ray Charles. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah so it can be done. You yeah. know, you spend enough time, you, you bet you can do it. I'm not sure that's the road we want to go down just no, yet. No, but, but we do have something along that lines working, though. We are. Uh, we have something funny coming up. Uh, let's see. Man. Oh, Man in the Park says, Pride is a deadly sin. Should not be removed. And the reason I believe it's so deadly is because people in the proud state are blind to needing anything, and if you don't need anything, you don't ask for help, meaning you're self-sufficient. Right. You know, and, uh, and let's see, um, Dev JB writes in response, after reading that many times, I notice I may be blind and I should start to beg for help, thanks. Can I have $20 so I can go to Goodwill and buy some work clothes? <laughs> <laughs> Money doesn't make me happy. Affection and reduced stress does. That I get from having money, and this is why I deserve money. A paid financial therapist told me this. <laughs> I gotta get me one out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, your response. Oh. Man in the park, I work in law enforcement. What, are you gonna arrest him? If I have to. All right. The people I work with have an abundance of pride in their work are the ones that make a positive difference in people's lives. And I said, well said. Yeah, I, again, you know what, pride, I think you can overdo it with pride for sure. And, but there are certain things you should be proud of. You know, your kids and your spouse and, you know, things that, accomplishments. Mm -hmm. So, but again, not everybody wants to hear that all the time. I know we have a friend that, He's a little bit narcissist, and he constantly talks about what he's done. I know someone like that as well. And you know what? That's fine. And everybody is to a point, but you like to. I mean, just in carrying out conversation. Right. I gonna, did. I did this once. Right. You're going to do that, and that mm -hmm. happens, and that's yeah. fine. I don't. I don't have any problem with that. Uh, this one I I enjoyed. Uh, James Devine. Comments are fun and all, but I was hoping for a little bit more of Fen recaps or odds and ends. I appreciate your approach. You're pretty fair-minded. So James, oh, and, and you replied, uh, James, you really do need to keep watching. Yes. Uh, I have just finished reading the book twice, handing it off to Ronnie tomorrow morning, or that's... This morning. Yep. Uh, oh, Sunday morning. Right? Yep. If you like to have us rehash everything the other channels do over and over, watch the other shows. Yeah. Uh, no matter the topic, this show is about what he and I find funny. Stay tuned. Uh, Forrest has, whoops, I didn't go further. Forrest had said he would like to be on our show. No other shows can claim that. Uh, it would be a shame if you missed all that. Happy to say we haven't jumped shark. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you may not know that term. That's a happy day. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Google that. Uh, so, and I will say that Hey, we can't we can't give any real inner perspective, or at least I, I'm not in a position to do that, having never read the book. It's it's a little bit hypocritical to try to put my spin on it when I have like this much information. Oh, you're going to enjoy it so much. So hopefully, in the next you know few days, the next few episodes, I will be able to add a little bit more educational response to some of the things that people refer to in the book. Yes, and as a programming note, the flip side would like to have us on as a guest, and we've agreed to come on, but there's no way that we're going to go on there and look like idiots. So Ronnie and I both agreed that we would go on, but not until after both of us has read the book. we got to get a lot more information we underneath our belt. We're not going to be hypocritical. Boy, the people in there are smart. Ooh. They're boots on the ground people. Yeah, They're the real deal, and we're not going to mix it up with them. AU Rockin'. A uh, relatively new viewer, we appreciate you. AU says, I enjoyed the show, guys. It's always interesting and lives up to the title of the show. Uh, We're so dang smart. I, I think we couldn't call it that if it weren't true. You know what? Ronnie's brain is so big, it's pushing his hair out. It hurts. It's so big, it hurts. Mm -hmm. Mine, on the other hand, is a toupee. <laughs> no, really. Would I wear a toupee that looked like this? Looks <laughs> pretty natural. Yeah, yeah. It's, man. Uh, uh, so, Edna Perviance and Karen Reinhardt. They're one and the same, Ronnie. Let's refer to her as Karen. She explained to me. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. 
Uh, she says, another great vlog, men. Nice day here in southeastern Pennsylvania, Delaware. Uh, Delaware River is at flood level from the rain. It is high water. Uh, and that's kind of one A of joke. the things in the poem. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, when reading The Thrill of the Chase, ask yourself why Fenn mentions the particular famous individuals, presidents, artists in the book. And she goes on to name a dozen or more. Mm -hmm. Uh, she says there may be a reason. He also mentions other famous individuals as interviews, actors and politicians, and mm, again, another dozen or so. Uh, she does say that uh, he may have had this as well. It could be explained how to, how to interpret the poem, but then again, maybe not. Uh, let's see. It says uh, Ronnie mentioned phonics. Which helps with the one thing in common. He always does. Yeah, I, that's my that's yeah. my go-to yeah. because I spell everything Every hooked wrong. on. Yeah, I spell it all wrong. So it's a You're it's a, a dork. It's a joke that about one percent of America gets. So I'm willing to I'm willing to go that that route. Um, so she has a very long response, and basically, I responded that uh, in in reply to her uh, weather report, said that. Uh, we also had a great rainy season here. Finally. Snowpack in the mountains is 200% of normal. And she says that's quite a bit. The Sacramento River is pretty high, too. There are a lot of small stream and creek overflows. Unusual for the area here with continual downpours. I want to tell you that I use the name, there she goes, yeah. Edna, uh, as my YouTube name. Uh, although, her name is Karen. So see, we do read the comments. Yes, <laughs> we don't make stuff up. Well, we do make stuff up, but we're not here. You couldn't make this up. Uh, Phil and Donna check in. Hey, Lou and Ronnie, enjoyed the show once again. Enjoy your weekend. We will. Can't wait. Give me title to the gold. Says, man, a barbecue and telling stories sounds like a good day to me. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be the best. You know, and I know what people are saying. Fenbury, yeah, I know, but we're not like that. Uh, we might have a Lou and Ronnie Bury. Yeah. Wouldn't yeah. that be great? That, that actually sounds kind of a, sounds like a food item. A bury? Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of hungry. A strawberry? Yeah. Pop-tarts? Um, we should do that. That would be so great. But, you know, all of our viewers are around the world, Ronnie. Yeah, that'd be kind of uh, tough. It might be kind of tough, logistically speaking. Although I just had somebody reply that they were looking to move back into the... S Actually, she inquired about Sacramento. He or she, I think it's she, but said probably is going to be moving to Nevada. So that might be our closest viewer right there, besides our close yeah. circle of friends. Right, right. Hey, right. this this one, let me read this one yeah, go ahead. Uh, because it regards you. It's from Sledneck, who uh, started out to be not such a fan of the show. I love that guy. I, and I think we've won him over. He sure won us over. Yeah. So it says, Lou... Glad to hear you're a survivor, talking about his, his cancer. Thank you, Sled Nick. Yep. It was tough going. Yep. Uh, not sure if I messed up the Fen quotes or you, but as it's important to allow me to repeat, don't be influenced by those who say they know but don't. Um, and Lou says, Sled Nick, thank you, buddy. I developed an infection one day out of the hospital. Wasn't sure I would ever bounce back from it, but I wasn't going to let it stop me, and so... Men Are So Smart was born. Yeah, you know, I always wanted to do that, and, and I didn't want cancer to beat me. And so once I finally uh, recovered, and it took a long time. I visited you in the hospital. You did, and I vaguely remember it. You looked pretty rough. Yeah, oh, I was pretty Kind sick. of a lot like you look right now. Right now, Ryan. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate that. So if you can imagine this with a smock on right and you know, tied in the back yeah. that's that was what it was mm, there's that bee again that, Rob. A, that's a wasp that's a wasp is right that's the green hornet we aren't playing around with that Ronnie <laughs> i've been bit by a lot of stung by a lot of those so i believe something bit me <laughs> <laughs> okay we hope you've had fun today uh, we sure have and and i know uh, james i know we did another segment on um uh, comments and, and, and not so much the substance. Sorry. But you know what? Really, aren't these just as much fun? The other shows are giving you the over and over and over content. Uh, and that's another thing. Before we get out of here, Ronnie, I wanted to mention this one more time. 
we believe that there is room for a lot of different Fen shows. Yep. And when we came onto the scene, we didn't even anticipate we would become one of those. We didn't no. even, I mean, I had heard of the Fen Treasure. I think I saw it on 60 Minutes when it came out and I thought, ooh, fascinating. But that was the end of that. We do a show that is unique to all of those other shows. What is it that makes it unique? I don't know. It's a you're, show about nothing. You're the viewer. <laughs> Tell us why you watch. But one thing I wanted to say is this. Men are so smart, often imitated, never duplicated. So please, you know who you are. Stop doing that, okay? Just do the kind of show you should do and you'll be fine. And you know what, and I will say this, if that is exclusively what you're looking for, you know who offers a really fine show on that? The flip side. Yeah. Uh, it's mainly boots on the ground people there, mm -hmm. or very serious researchers, mm -hmm. uh, and it's a lot of uh, treasure hunting tidbits. And so if that is, if you're actually out there searching that might be maybe more what you're looking for. Yeah, and come back to us for fun. Yeah, yeah, this is, I mean, neither of us are boots on the ground, never have been, and we never will be. Well, Ronnie has boots, I don't even have boots. <laughs> I got tennis shoes, does that count? <laughs> Tenny's on the ground. Tenny's on the ground, that's what I am. I'm gonna get a t-shirt that says that. <laughs> T-O-T-G. Oh, that reminds me, Ronnie, we're just about to get the new Lou and Ronnie bobbleheads. Oh boy, that'll be oh, big. Oh, don't be, you want one of them? That'll be huge. Ah, uh, would you like to get a Lou and Ronnie bobblehead? <laughs> Keep watching. Ruh -ruh. Was that the crowd responding? It's, <laughs> to it's the so dead out there, there's crickets. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your phone makes noises at the most inopportune times, yeah. Ronnie. Yeah. All right. Meh. Meh. Okay. Sh shout uh, out to Meh, by the way. You bet. Thanks again. Yep. Uh, and thanks to all of you for watching our show. We really do appreciate it. You know what? I've come to the conclusion that you either get this show or you don't. And for those of you that do, this is a dream I've had for a long time. And to know that you're along for the ride just makes it that much more special. You know, yep. there have been so many times when Ronnie and I have thought about quitting. And, you know, and, and each time I thought deep down inside, no, we have to stay the course. We gotta keep pressing ahead because things will happen. If you deliver good content, people will find you. And you know what? We're at the point now where people are finding us. You've kind of, kind of broken out a little bit just recently. It's the last the, like two months. We're not really doing anything different. We're just delivering the same kind of content, but people really enjoy it. And I think it's where it all obviously goes back to our subscribers. Somebody says, hey, I saw this on YouTube, you gotta check it out. Mm -hmm. That's That has to be what it is, because we don't have any more relatives that can watch no, the show. No, no, no. We're, we're all out of relatives. And we're done procreating, so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you gotta take care of the next generation for us. <laughs> uh, before we get out of here, one more thing. Ladies, I see the demographics on our show, and I gotta tell you, you gotta step up your game. Come on. You're not trying hard enough. You can do better. We had 98% men and 2% women. What the hell? Yeah. Step up your game. We gave you the vote. Now go ahead right. and use it. For God's sakes. <laughs> that's going to do it. I think that's a good way to end the show right there. I think there, we just it? lost a couple female viewers. There goes the 2%. Yep. Oh, well. Sorry. We'll try again later. <laughs> we can edit that out. Uh, yeah, well, I, nobody yeah. needs to see that. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, this has been Men Are So Smart. I'm Luke Gallagher. I'm Corbett Ronnie. See you next time. Yeah.